Hi. My name is Lyra Scout, and this is a brief Wikivids video about Alexander Fleming. Sir Alexander Fleming, August 6, 1881 to March 11, 1955, was a Scottish physician, biologist, pharmacologist, and botanist. His best-known discoveries are the enzyme lysozyme in 1923, and the world's first antibiotic substance pencil penicillin, penicillin G, from the mold penicillium notatum in 1928, for which he shared the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1945 with Howard Florey and Ernst Borschtchen. He wrote many articles on bacteriology, immunology, and chemotherapy. During World War I, Fleming witnessed the death of many soldiers from sepsis resulting from infected wounds. Antiseptics, which were used at the time to treat infected wounds, often worsened the injuries. In an article he submitted for the medical journal The Lancet during World War I, Fleming described an ingenious experiment in which he demonstrated why antiseptics were killing more soldiers than the infections themselves. By 1927, Fleming had been investigating the properties of staphylococci. He was already well known from his earlier work, and had developed a reputation as a brilliant researcher, but his laboratory was often untidy. On September 3, 1928, Fleming returned to his laboratory having spent August on holiday with his family. Before leaving, he had stacked all of his cultures of staphylococci on a bench in a corner of his laboratory. On returning, Fleming noticed that one culture was contaminated with a fungus, and that the colonies of staphylococci immediately surrounding the fungus had been destroyed, whereas other staphylococci colonies farther away were normal. On observing this, Fleming famously remarked that's funny. Fleming grew the mold in a pure culture and found that it produced a substance that killed a number of disease-causing bacteria. He identified the mold as being from the penicillium genus, and, after some months of calling it mold juice, named the substance it released penicillin. Fleming published his discovery in 1929 in the British Journal of Experimental Pathology, but little attention was paid to his article. Fleming finally abandoned his work on penicillin, and not long after he did. Howard Florey and Ernst Boris Chain at the Radcliffe Infirmary in Oxford took up researching and mass producing it, with funds from the U.S. and British governments. They started mass production after the bombing of Pearl Harbor. By D Day in 1944, enough penicillin had been produced to treat all of the wounded in the Allied forces. Fleming's discovery of penicillin changed the world of modern medicine by introducing the age of useful antibiotics. Penicillin has saved, and is still saving, millions of people around the world. Fleming was knighted for his scientific achievements in 1944. In 1999, he was named in Time magazine's list of the 100 most important people of the 20th century. In 2002, he was chosen in the BBC's television poll for determining the 100 greatest Britons, and in 2009, he was also voted the third greatest Scot in an opinion poll conducted by STV, behind only Robert Burns and William Wallace. Well my friends, I hope you've enjoyed this brief video about Alexander Fleming. Until next time, this has been Lyra Scout for Wikivids.